We took over a scammer's computer and stole all of his files. Then we destroyed the computer and deleted his RuneScape account. With the files obtained, we also managed to take over his phone system, enabling us to save thousands of victims. Yes, thanks for getting connected with Amazon. This is David. How can I help you? Yes, hi, David. I have an issue here. I got a mail from hello. Amazon. Yes, hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, I got a mail from the Amazon saying that someone placed an order. I can hear you, sir. I did not buy anything, so why am I getting charged? It says someone bought an iPhone. What's going on? I did not buy an iPhone. These scammers sent fake Amazon emails to their victims, making it seem like someone bought an iPhone or other product on your account. The mail has a phone number in it to cancel the fake order. If you call, you get a stupid scammer like this on the line. All right, just hold on. Let me check it once. One eternity later. All right, so as I can check here, that your Amazon, there has been a purchase of an iPhone from your Amazon account, but you did not make this purchase because your ad billing address and the address from where this has been placed, it's from the, it's different, sir. The uh, hackers, it's a suspicious transaction of iPhone. Uh, it is from Pennsylvania, and you don't live in Pennsylvania, right? No, that's correct. I don't live in Pennsylvania. I live in Oklahoma. Yes, your billing address comes from Oklahoma, right? But yes. this order has been placed from Pennsylvania, and as we have suspected this order, so we will be cancelling it. You don't have to worry about anything. The scammer will now try to get access to the victim's computer or smartphone, from where they can steal all your passwords and potentially all of your money. All right, so can you just tell me one thing? Uh, in which device did you last logged into your Amazon account? On your mobile phone or on your laptop? Mobile phone. On your mobile phone, all right, no issues. You do one thing, first of all, put me on speaker. Yes. Now just tell me it's an Android phone or it's an iPhone? Android. Android phone. Now, now just have a look over there, you will see an app which says Google Play Store. You know Google Play Store? Yes, I know Google Play Store, yes. The scammer will now make me download any desk. Yes, you need to type there any desk. It's A-N-Y-D-E-S-K. An app that let him take over control of my device. Click on that yeah. small box, then click on accept. Accept. Oh, okay, you need yeah. To do it. The scammer is now connected to my computer. A trapper managed to get into the scammer's computer. We took a lot of files from this computer. More than 30,000 in fact. Then we uploaded a payload to destroy his computer. We then went ahead and shut his computer down. This computer won't be back on anytime soon. Now let's go over the files we took. We got a bunch of passwords for accounts he has. Perhaps the most interesting one? His RuneScape account. RuneScape is an online multiplayer game. The scammer's account is a very high level. An account like this easily has 10 years of time spent on it. This is further backed by him having a feathering cape. This cape is rewarded for players that play at least 10 years. This game also has an economy where you can trade items with other players. I used to play this game myself. I then decided to play Santa and give away all his hard earned items to random low level players. Some of you might think this is wrong. Remember though, it's just a game bro. And it's nothing compared to the bank accounts and life savings this scammer took from old people. That's why I also deleted his RuneScape account. Now this is all fun, but let's get to the serious stuff. Just after we destroyed the scammer's computer, we called them back. Here's the call that followed. Thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. This is Jack. How can I help you? Hey Jack, can I talk to Mike, please? I was talking to Mike. Okay, so you were talking to me. Yeah. Okay, so could you please help me with your concern on which case he was working with you? Like, what was the issue you were having with the Amazon account of yours? Well, that's something I like to discuss with Mike. Is he available or not? Sir, so, uh, as I'm able to see over here, your call is connected with the Amazon Customer Service Department. And nobody's here on the floor by this name, Mike. Lies. By by any chance, by any chance, is there like a guy who has um, has a weird red wallpaper on his computer? He's probably really mad right now. Is there anyone whose computer broke down? Fuck you, motherfucker. It's a gift from us. Enjoy. Did you did you abuse me? 
Do you also want a gift from me? He didn't like that. Now we also took over the scammer phone system, allowing us to intercept calls that are meant for the scammers. If a victim tries to call, I will be the one to pick up and prevent them from getting scammed. Hello, um, my Apple account, yes. um, my Apple ID and my um, yes. iTunes account is disabled. I need to know how to get them back. Okay, um, I think you found this number to Google. Is this the correct number? Well, uh, please listen carefully. Uh, the number you are calling is actually an Indian scam call center. I took over their phones to warn everyone. Uh, if you need help with Apple, you should go to the official Apple website and look for a phone number on there. Because if you like search numbers on Google, they often go to scam call centers. So if it wasn't for me right now, they would have probably tried to steal your money. If you go to apple.com and you scroll to the bottom, there's actually a 1-800-MY-APPLE phone number. That's the only legitimate Apple number. Please do not call these numbers on Google because... Okay. Like, what these scammers do is they basically... Okay. Um, they rank in the Google search results, so it looks like that you are calling a legit phone number, but actually they are scammers. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. The call you just heard was me successfully preventing someone from being scammed. Over the last three weeks, me and my team saved thousands of people just like this. These Amazon scammers actually use an Amazon cloud server to host their phone system. Pretty crazy to think about. We didn't get any name or location of these scammers this time, but scammers, do remember, we are always watching you. We will find you. Because we, we are, are anonymous. anonymous. We are a legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. At the time of uploading this, we still have access to this phone system. We will continue to prevent people from being scammed as long as we can. Want to learn more about scams and how to prevent falling victim to them? Follow me and Trapper on Twitter. We post a lot of great advice. Please share these videos with your friends and family, so they won't fall victim for these scams too. We just launched a new platform, Scambait.online. For $5 a month, you get access to our Discord, where you can watch us in action, learn, and do calls with me and my team. Join us now on Scambait.online. If you like what we do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, Please leave us a comment on what you think, and ideas are welcome. Thanks for watching. Also, here's a couple more great videos to watch.